Kayla with Live Oak Nest. Welcome back to my home. So I'm finally putting out a Christmas home tour video for y'all. I am so sorry it's taken so long, um, but I'm excited to share our home finally put together and decorated for Christmas. So I know that some of you like to just watch with music and others like to know where things are from. Um, so I kind of did a little of both. In the first part of the video will just be music. And if you want to listen to me talk, skip ahead. Um, I'll put it in the chapters where you can skip ahead and listen to me um, kind of talk through my Christmas decor. So I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, sit back and relax and enjoy my Christmas tour.
so much for joining me for my French Cottage Farmhouse Christmas Home Tour. I hope y'all have loved seeing our new home and seeing it decorated for the Christmas season. I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a blessed 2022. So now I'm going to do the home tour again and just kind of chat with you and visit with you um, about some of the decorations, some of the pieces that we've purchased or found off Facebook Marketplace since we moved in. Um, so let's get started. Hi y'all, it's Kayla with Live Oak Nest. Welcome back to my home. Today I want to do a little Christmas home tour. So we are moved in. We have almost everything unboxed and unpacked. And we have our Christmas decorations up and it just feels so cozy and warm in here. And I just absolutely love how everything has come together. So um, I'm just going to give you a little tour and also kind of point out um, some of the things that we found when we moved here and um, some sources for some things. So let's get started. So this little antique table here was something that I had at our other home. 
Um, it was tucked into a little half bath, but I love it here at the entry and I love this little lamp on here. Um, it's just a nice little glow at night because this hallway is so long. Um, that little lamp came from Kirkland's. My little babies. And this right here, I got this little um, basket, yeah, a gathering basket from a little antique store and um, I was so excited to find it because they're normally around $90 and this one was listed at $40 but it's really huge. I thought it would be beautiful with Christmas greens um, and I, I topped it off with just a little velvet bow. And then this piece of furniture here is new. I found this on Facebook Marketplace and I'll pop a little picture of what it looked like before. But I painted it, I sanded down the top, restained it, um, and then waxed it, and then just buffed the original hardware. And I love it. I think it's perfect for our entryway. Um, it's just such a beautiful piece. And then in this stove bowl, I just laid um, one of my linen tea towels that you can find in my shop. And then of course, um, the DIY mercury glass ornaments. I had made a garland last year and so I just laid those down in that dough bowl as filler. And then I'm gonna back up here and point out um, these lights up here. These are from Antique Farmhouse and they are perfect. I'm gonna turn out the light to see if we can get a better look at the color. Um, they're just a beautiful like sagey blue green color um, with some like antiquing and um, distressing on them. So I love those. So I decided to put these three little mirrors here um, and I'm thinking I might come back in. I have a big old French shutter that's um, natural wood and I'm thinking I might hang that there and then put these three on top of it but these three mirrors came from Antique Farmhouse and I just love the character um, and the shapes of those and then my husband and I put these shelves together um, and I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to make them but I really think they turned out well and they're nice to have it's nice to have just a few open shelves uh, right here by our kitchen because um, I kind of lost some of the like the little peg shelf and things like that that I had at the other house so I think I'll really love having this here um, and so for now I've just styled it with a few like little Christmas items and dishes Give you a look at the main living area here. So while I'm here, I'll talk about this rug. This is from House of Noah and um, it's a foam mat. So it's cushy, it feels good while you're washing dishes, but it's also beautiful and it's easy to clean. You just wipe it down with warm water and soap or cleaning solution. We also finally got all of our knobs and pulls on. Those are from um, Tina over at Battle Creek Hardware. And I love how those turned out. And then this wreath here on the vent hood, I grabbed this from Pine and Ivy. Um, and I loved how this looked. It's more like an oval shape wreath. And then I, of course, just stuck on the velvet bow to kind of tie in with everything else but I love how that looks on our vent hood. And then I typically keep this old um, cutting board here on the corner of the island and keep seasonal decor on it, but I just have a ruffled tea towel, um, some of my book stacks. These are from Jamie at Jay's World of Book Collections, and then a little wild <laughs> um, Christmas arrangement. And this blue bucket is just a thrift find. And of course I have my Christmas candles going from Antique Farmhouse or Antique Candle Co. Sorry about that.
And the stools here, these are from Overstock. Um, I'll link them, they do sell out quickly. And in my last video, I had some pendant lights hanging up here and I talked about possibly having hanging a chandelier. And so I decided to hang the chandelier and then I decided to remove <laughs> the pendant lights. Um, it just felt like too much, but I liked the lightness and the airiness of the chandelier um, a lot better instead of the big, bigger pendants kind of blocking the vent hood. So I like how this looks. And this chandelier, <laughs> I love it because see how these two arms are here longer on either side? Um, I really like that. I think it's perfect for a rectangular table, which is what we have. And then I added the little lampshades and I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see what the lampshades look like. But I really do love those. I know some people think that looks old school or, but I just think they turned out so cute. I love them. So I just feel like the just the chandelier is just a better look. Um, it just leaves it open and airy and not so heavy, so. And these blue chairs came from um, Overstock as well, and they were raw wood, so I just painted them with Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. And then the dining table was a Facebook Marketplace find, and I stripped down the top, planned to restain it, but then I ended up having to paint it. Um, but I still think for a hundred bucks, <laughs> it looks pretty good. So um, I, I do like how it turned out, and I love this color. It's painted in Swedish Gray by Jolie, and it's like a chalk-based paint which I really like. And then for my table here, for my place settings, I just used antique dishes, um, added a little gold pear and a little sprig of cedar, and then tied it off with some velvet ribbon. The gold pears are also from Pine and Ivy. And then for my florals, I did fresh hydrangeas and fresh Christmas greens, mainly cedar, um, but I just love how that looks. And then I strung in some of this beaded garland, um, which I love. I got this from Hobby Lobby this year. And I also, it's the same, I'm gonna spin you around. It's the same garland that I have over here in the, in the Christmas mantle. So I thought it would be pretty to kind of pull it over here as well. So I like how that looks. And then I did what I always do. I start with a riser or a base of some sort and then build up. And I used books and dishes to kind of stack and layer. And then I added in um, some of my blue jars and my candles. And this is one of the little cute doorknob trees that I made last year. And then this candlestick, I'll put a video together to show you how I did this. But this one here on the right, um, right there is wood and I just painted it and distressed it and aged it to make it look more similar to this one which is metal so I need to put a link a tutorial up on how I did that and then these big blue um, French door shutters are from a local market painted market tr market tree and I love them. Um, we actually had a photo shoot at the house recently for a Christmas magazine. And when I knew I needed something on this wall because they wanted me to have the mantle decorated. Um, so I moved my, my big church art over there and I decided to go pick up these shutters and I just love how they look. So I just put um, a little wreath on there and then that blue ribbon is fabric that I just tore into long strips and then tied it into a bow. So I love that. It's very simple and clean. And I wanted this space to be simple since my table had so much going on. So this um, big French buffet is another Facebook marketplace find. And it's probably one of my favorite <laughs> pieces of furniture. I think it's just so beautiful. I love it. And these two buffet lamps, those came from Kirkland's. And then for this wall over here, I decided to hang Christmas hymns. So I just had these printed um, and then stuck them in some frames. And it's gonna be hard to see them without a glare. Um, 
but I think they turned out really well and they're pretty big. This is a really huge wall. And so um, I just, I tried to kind of break it up a little bit and, you know, kind of fill the space a little. So I love those, how those turned out. And then we used to have the blue recliner chairs, but when I found out we were doing the photo shoot, well, we had ordered a sofa sectional when we moved in, but it's not supposed to be here until February. And so I went ahead and sold the recliners because we were going to sell them anyway and put in these two um, little accent chairs. And I love them. Um, I'm planning on putting one in the front room in the office when we get our sectional. And then I might end up sticking the other one kind of right over here, depending on how big the section looks. So I think those are really cute. I love the blue stripe. And then I'm gonna take you back over here to the buffet and point out a few things. Um, Y'all know I love finding all these little antique cabinets. So these are a couple that I've picked up. Um, the blue one, I don't think I had it out in the old house, but I had purchased it when we lived there. And um, this one, of course, you've seen. And then the little Christmas village in here was from my friend Amy at Rustic Occasions. Love her stuff. She also did this Christmas tree. I was originally going to do something very symmetrical, but the mantle over here kind of sticks out in front of that window. And so my garland was just kind of like <laughs> doing this out in front of the window, which I didn't like that. So I decided to do an asymmetrical garland and kind of do um, big swags or scallops. And I really do like how it turned out. Um, it's definitely different. It's something that I haven't done before, but I do like it and I think it turned out really pretty um so I have my big gold bells over here my big ribbon um and then I just um, hung everything on the mantle with nails and secured it with floral wire and then draped in my beaded garland so there's a base garland that's from Hobby Lobby and then I added in like some juniper sprigs that I had and these little blue florals um, that I use all year long. I stuck a few of those in there and then I also added in some real cedar um, and just laid a few pieces in just to kind of help it not look so fake. So and then this um, frame up here that is from an antique find and I just put that little quote in there and had it printed. So I love how the mantle came together. I think it looks really pretty. And then I added in these three um, wreaths on the windows this year. And then for my Christmas tree, I decorated it pretty much the same that I did last year. Um, and I used all the little same ornaments that I'd made. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link to it so that you can see how I made them. But I made these little icicle spindle ornaments. And then um, these little rag ball ornaments from the fabric that matches the bows. And then I made these little tartan ornaments. And um, these little mercury glass ornaments that are not glass, but they're out of plastic. And then I also, I made these little signs too using my Cricut. Um, I just created the stencil and then painted those on. But I love this Christmas tree. It's really full and I really do love it. I just think it turned out really pretty. And then for my packages and wrapping paper, I just used what I had on hand, but I did purchase um, this little brown one here with the pine cones from Amazon. It's a Hallmark paper. And then I also purchased this blue and white stripe one over here from Target, which I love that one. 
Actually, I'm gonna get a few more rolls. It's so pretty. So, all of the florals, like the poinsettias and the flowers on the tree, those I've just picked up over the years. Same with the ribbon. I just pick up things when I like it and then um, use it to decorate. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around here. And I also, I put together a video showing how I decorated the tree. Um, so I'll be posting that probably at Christmas in July since it's a little, people are probably done decorating. <laughs> um, but I'll be posting that and then also how I did my mantle. So I'm just gonna turn this around. I just stuck a couple little trees in these blue jars. Um, I love those. <laughs> and I had those frosted trees. Those were from Target last year. I think in like the $5 bin. But I love how that looked. And then um, for my little hutch over here, I just hung a little garland and some bows on either end. And this little sconce thing, um, that's new. That's from a little thrift store that I found here. And then for these pillows, um, the blue ones are from Amazon and then the um, cream ones are from Etsy. And I will link those, but I love this pattern so much. It is gorgeous. They're really good quality. So I really love those pillows. And I do, I got some Roman shades to hang over here. So I'll be losing those blinds. Um, it's a little that we can really see in the neighbor's <laughs> windows and their back patio. And so I got some like privacy film that looks like leaded glass. So I'm gonna put that up there so that it lets in light, but we can't actually see them or they can't see us. And then I'm also gonna put the Roman shades um, and hang them up high so that that makes the windows look a little bit larger over there. So I'll have to share that project when I do it because that film stuff is pretty cool. So here's how this main area has come together and I really do love it. Now I'm gonna take us into our bedroom and kind of show you how that has come together. So the chandelier that used to be in our dining room, we ended up placing it in here and it's so pretty. I love it. I'm so glad I ended up taking it with us. And I ended up putting a tree in here. This is from King of Christmas and I just love this tree. It's so airy and it's just beautiful and it hangs, ornaments hang on it just so pretty. Um, so I put all of my glass ornaments in here. There's some plastic ones on there, but most of it is mercury glass um, that I don't put out <laughs> in the living room tree because of the kids. But I had some of these, these little frosted trees are from Hobby Lobby and I just put a little bow on those and set them down in some baskets. And this little round side table is from Amazon, believe it or not. I did repaint it because it was too yellow for me, um, but they had a few other colors, I think. Anyway, I really love the table and it is like solid and heavy. And that's the mirror. You would have saw that at our old house. Um, it was upstairs for a while. And then this amazing chair it was also from Facebook Marketplace and it came with a little ottoman. And isn't it so cute? I love it. It's so, so pretty. And it has the, um, the nail trim and a burlap on the back. So it's literally in perfect condition and I love it. So that's how this tree looks this year. I just did ribbons, um, beaded garland and ornaments. And then the tree topper is just a rusty star and it's from um, Anthropology. Okay, so let me turn you around and show you our bed. So I ended up painting um, the bed again because I'd painted it with fusion mineral paint and had a lot of troubles <laughs> with it sticking really well. Like it just did not adhere like it was supposed to. And I mean, you could just run your fingernail across it and it would just like peel off. Um, so anyway, we ended up repainting it or I did. Um, we took 
the mattress off to get back there to hang up this little ledge piece. And then I was like, well, while the mattress is off, let's go ahead and let me go ahead and repaint the bed. So I painted it in this color. It's called linen and it's another um, color. It's by Jolie Chalk Paint and it's a beautiful color. It's definitely darker than what I would normally go with, but I think um, with the chandelier being so dark, it just looks really pretty. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. I just love our bedroom. It's just so cozy and relaxing. Love, love, love it. The bed skirt I got from Etsy, so I can link that. I can link all the bedding for you. The lamps are from Antique Farmhouse. And so is that little riser. And then those little trees are so cute. They're just little metal trees and they're on like an old spindle base. <laughs> so cute. And then of course that one in the front is a bottle brush tree, but it's on a spindle base too. And then I made that little sign up on the top of the bed. Um, and it's kind of hard to see in the rock in the wrong light. In the right light, you can catch a glimpse of it. There you go. That's a little bit better. Um, but I love how that turned out. It's just simple and peaceful. And then I'm going to show you this um, piece of furniture that I got. Another Facebook find. I mean, I just can't believe people get rid of things <laughs> like this. It is gorgeous. I'm really thinking about painting it. I haven't decided yet. I know the opinions are strong on painting furniture, um, especially antique pieces like this, but I, I can't decide if it's just too dark in here with the dark bed and the chandelier and the um, mirror, but it's just, it's a beautiful color of wood. It's just kind of dark. So I thought about maybe just painting the inside too. I don't know, but I'm going to put books in there, um, and then when the tree is gone, I'll have the chair moved back over there, so. So that's how our bedroom has come together and I love it. And I'll kind of spin you around, and show you the view from this area. So man, it has been so much work. <laughs> We're exhausted, but we are so glad to have everything in its place. And then now it just finally feels cozy and like home to me. So um, now I'm excited to kind of get everything cleaned up after Christmas and figure out where everything um, will go for spring. So that's a look at our home for the 2021 Christmas season and a little update um, since we've moved in. So I hope you all have enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you have any questions, just pop them down below. Thanks so much for joining me and I will talk to you again soon.